Well, uh, today we're having a look at the Oppo, or Oppo, depending on which smart phone school you went to, uh, the Oppo Reno 12 Pro. Uh, so this is one of the um, one of the better uh, mid-range smartphones on the market in New Zealand today, if you ask me. Uh, so yeah, if uh, you're thinking of uh, changing from one of those two big brand name phones to this one because they're just getting a little bit out of your price range. Uh, this one retails for around $1,099. Uh, and really the only major features that you're missing out on with this handset um, uh, wireless charging, boo, love wireless charging um, and uh, eSIM capabilities uh, so yeah a lot of phones are changing to eSIM now I've changed to eSIM so it's a bit of a problem for me because I really want to go back to a physical SIM card but other, if those aren't issues for you then this could well be worth a look because although it doesn't have wireless charging it does have a super VOOC fast charger in the box that's right a charger in the box who would have thought and it charges uh, this phone up super duper fast and it lasts for ages I get through a couple of days on this uh, with no worries at all um, and so generally uh, what I do when I've got a bit of downtime I'll plug it in to charge get it up to 100 in no time and then I don't even put it on to charge overnight because uh, there's still in the tank as far as that goes uh, so um, and you'll notice that uh, it's got a uh, triple camera array, array on the back there so there's a couple of 50 megapixel sensors the wide and ultra wide ultra wide cameras and then there's also a telephoto sensor on there as well as usual for oppo phones you'll never be disappointed uh, with the camera quality uh, they are uh, yeah they do fantastic uh, cameras and we'll talk more about that very shortly um, uh, what helps with that is the uh, uh, MediaTek uh, Dimensity chip that's running it. Uh, it goes like a rocket ship and so features like the um, in-display uh, fingerprint reader for example. If I just do that you'll see how quickly that turned on. If I can demonstrate that again, boom, just like that, it's instant. So that's one of the fastest uh, under-screen um, fingerprint, uh, fingerprint sensors that I've uh, come across. The, the display looks good. And the cool thing about the uh, Color OS uh, operating system that we're dealing with here is um, you can do all these cool customizations. So see how you can navigate around the home screen. You know, I like that roll one, but there's like a prism sort of one. There's a page flipping one. You know, all that sort of thing. I love all that stuff. You can customize all those uh, widgets there, different sizes, and put lots of icons on there or not change colors all that sort of thing and the, uh, another thing that I found really cool uh, when I was um, setting this up I just transferred all the information across from an iPhone and uh, all the apps uh, transferred across and loaded up so that was good um, but also settings like for example the screen lock here as you can see domestic manager on there standing in front of a sunset that was on my iPhone set up like that and it looks exactly the same uh, yeah when I uh, transferred it across uh, to this phone look how lovely and slim it is it's a really light, slim phone. It's quite an attractive phone. This is what they call the, uh, the uh, Nebula Black. Uh, there's also a ne Nebula Silver model. The difference is on this black one, you can see that this is kind of a matte finish on most of the back. It's got a shiny bit at the bottom for some reason. But yeah, um, so it's very resistant to fingerprints and things there on that, on that matte finish. The silver one is kind of like the complete opposite of that. It's got this sort of wavy, um, eff shiny effect on it. Uh, so yeah, I guess it depends whether you're a sort of an introvert or an extrovert as far as that goes. Uh, but yeah, great cameras on the phone and uh, that includes the selfie cam as well. Uh, so if you're using this for vlogging, for streaming uh, or just for online meetings, let's uh, go inside the phone and have a good look and see just how good it is. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so here we are um, inside uh, the uh, Oppo Reno 12 Pro and uh, yeah, I have not been let down by an Oppo phone yet, I think, when it comes to uh, camera, camera capabilities. Um, whether it's you know the flagship right at the top of the range or a mid-ranger like this, um, they just yeah always have, have uh, great cameras. So you know, when it comes to uh, vlogging, streaming, uh, maybe um, online meetings on the go, uh, you really, you know, in terms of value for money and the features that you're getting and the hardware that you're getting, um, I think that this is a pretty hard device to beat.